Well, hey there, boys and girls of the YouTube world. Today, Duff Dog and I are going to see if we can't get a 1966 Chevrolet Impala on the trailer. So, a local friend of mine said this car was sitting in his mom's backyard and uh, they wanted to get rid of it. So, here we are. It looks like they got a drug out for us. It's a 66 Impala, four door hard top, no frame, no running gear, no nothing. It was an automatic power brake car. Duff's checking out the floors. He says they're good. And the hood's there. It's a pretty dang good car. Just, yeah, look at this. Factory 396 car. I don't know why they took it apart, but we couldn't pass it up, so we're gonna load it up. Really straight, really dry. A little rot back there. White top, Amoco Motor Club, $500 reward. If somebody steals this thing. Looks like it was stole new, stole, sold new in Milner at Nelson Chevrolet. Got a little hooey in this corner. Otherwise, really nice car. It's a shame it's a four door, but we're not picky around here. Interiors even, pretty dang good. I think the, fen the door is just sitting there, so I'm not gonna open that door. Yeah, not bad. Was it an AC car? Doesn't look like it. Like I said, automatic. Doesn't look like it was power steering. She's uh, not too bad. Got somebody lined up to uh, buy this thing, so we're gonna load it up, get it home, and get her to a new owner. North Dakota State School of Science in Wapton, 69 or 70. Looks like somebody started beating that back out. Yeah, good car. Oh, that dog leg is a little rusty. Oh, what other kind of stuff we got back here? Cadillac, square body, Dodge all chopped up, pontoons. All right, let's get her loaded up. You get that rabbit or what? Come here. Look at this. You get a rabbit underneath the fuel barrels. You got a black eye out of the deal and a black nose. Silly boy. Silly boy. All right, it's uh, about snow removal season, so we had to go grab the snow bucket. Might as well grab the dirt bucket while we're at. Got that all tied down. We got the uh, Impala tied down here. Notice it was a dual antennae option. Not an option. Somebody put these on. The Fwangers are uh, not standard antennas. You can see they had two of them. Worthless knowledge. I think the 59 and 60 Chevys had two antennas if they were big block cars. This was a big block car. I think the factory antennas on these were... I don't know. I'm not even going to say that. What are those? Roy Tan Golfers. Are those cigarettes? Yep, cigars. Anybody uh, smoke Roy Tans? We should take those and send them to Cold War Motors for classic darts. Think they'd smoke them, Duff? I don't think the doors are bolted on. So maybe we should uh, run a strap over the top of that. Anyway, here's how I like to tie my straps, the uh, excess off. You loop them back and forth, twist it around itself, roll it up, and then suck it down on itself. Those things are gonna be good to go. Just you see when we get there. And then you gotta go one of these and say, that ain't going nowhere. All right, let's uh, get this load back home. Made her home without any issues, didn't we, Duff? Yeah, no issues. Look at that. Straps are still tight, pigtails didn't fall out. 
Oh, that chain came loose. But we still got our skids here in both our buckets. What a deal! All right, let's get this thing unloaded. Okay, got us a new kitty cat now. Get him. Get that cat. Just locked up. Well, there you have it. Saved another one. 1966 Chevrolet Impala four-door hardtop factory big block car. The guy I bought it from is a volunteer firefighter. He was on a call when we went and got it, so his dad came out after we uh, videoed the intro. He claims this car is a local car to where I got it, uh, not too far away from where it was sold new, about 35 miles. And he said this thing had a 450 horse 427 in it. I find that hard to believe. He said it's a Corvette engine, and then he said, ah, Super Sport. So a Corvette, Super Sport? I don't know. I don't, I don't really believe it. But I asked him if he'd sell the engine. He said, no, he's got plans for that. So we'll uh, keep pestering him a bit. Uh, anyway, this car is for sale. Uh, hopefully we can find a new owner that can uh, put it back to life because, as you can tell, we got plenty of our own projects here. Duff's super interested in a club wagon Ford. Ray Meow. I'm sorry, are you saying meow? Am I saying meow? I, I, th I thought you... Don't think, boy, meow. Do you know how fast you were going? But it's dark out. We're going to call her a night. So thank you very much for watching. Check out our other videos. Like, share, subscribe. Click the link down below. Get yourself some merch so that we can uh, continue to pay for fuel to pick up more stuff like this. He's going to Iowa. It's going to be a parts car for... Uh, Another car that he's got, it's got a car that's the same color, but they had, somebody had laid something on the uh, deck lid in this, I don't know what you call it, rear valance in between. So this one's going to Iowa and going to be a donor. I don't know, I'm sure he'll use some other stuff. His car doesn't have power brakes, this one does. Maybe he'll put some sneaky 396 emblems on his 283 car, but anyway, saved another one. Hopefully somebody can use this interior because it's way nicer than... Most of the stuff Duff and I drive. Oh, this one's got a factory clock option, he said, too. So, there you go. Remember, it doesn't matter how you get it done, as long as you're having fun. And saving these cars is always fun. Right, Duff? He's probably loaded up in their pickup. Nope, he's over on Oh, Duff. Are you sad to see the 66 go? There were some good smells on that one. Looks like he's over it. Oh, they left us some sandwiches, though. Good kids. Even the shandy type. Those are uh, getting hard to find this time of year. What a deal. If it weren't 8.30 in the morning, we'd probably indulge in one of these. But we got work to do.